If you're taking the time to watch this video about big gun irrigation, you're in the company of a lot of people who have problem fields to irrigate and hopefully this video will give you some good ideas about how to handle those situations. Hi, I'm Bob Ruper, recently retired from Nelson Irrigation. They're the manufacturer of the world famous big gun sprinklers uh, and I've been dealing with them for a long time. Now that I'm retired I'm sp spending a lot of time on my farm and and uh, with the irrigation system. I run both pivots and big gun sprinklers. Uh, and I always tell people that if you can put a pivot on your ground, that's what you ought to do. But for so many situations, uh, pivots don't fit and the big guns become a very viable option. So uh, hopefully by watching this video, you get some ideas uh, that might solve some of the problems you've got on your own property. Those of you fortunate enough to afford the luxury of a fully automated big gun system, that is the ultimate. I have some acreage of fully automated solid set, and I must say that I absolutely, totally love the system. Let's be sure that we are on the same page as to what automation really means. Let's say we have a 20 acre field that requires 24 gun locations to cover the field. Depending upon the water supply, we might be able to run one gun at a time or about 125 gallons per minute. Each gun would typically run for four hours before being automatically shut off while another gun is being turned on. With the Nelson 100 series gun, each gun would be putting water down at the rate of approximately a half an inch an hour. At the end of the 24 hours, six guns would have run, and after four days of running, all 24 guns would have operated and would have applied two inches of water to the 20 acre. But now, thanks to the new IACO quad pod, combined with the Nelson big gun, control valve, and twig radio controls, the new concept of mobile guns is available. The mobile gun system provides most of the advantages of automation, but at a fraction of the cost. And here's how it works. I think maybe the best way to illustrate the mobile gun system is to go back to our 20 acre uh, field example where we have a gun and radio control on each gun location. Instead, let's have the same 24 gun locations with a quad and Nelson control valve at each location, but only utilize six guns and six twigs for the entire field. On day one, we sequence through six setups for 24 hours, with each gun running for getting four hours of runtime. At the end of the 24 hours, the irrigator on an ATV takes the six guns and twigs and moves them to six new locations and then pushes the go button. Moving six guns and twigs to six new locations takes about 20 minutes on an ATV. The gun and the twig are the most expensive part of the system. So by adding a small amount of labor and moving the guns and twigs to six new locations every day, the cost of the system has dropped dramatically and yet you still have the luxury of an automated mobile gun system. The quad pod makes this system possible. The pod is lightweight, but strong enough to stabilize the big gun from tipping over. For maximum cost effectiveness, three inch aluminum irrigation pipe is used and is teed up into the pod. The weight of the water in the pipe is part of the stabilizing system. The Nelson control valve is mounted permanently on the top of the pod 
where it is connected into the base of the gun and twig. A quick disconnect is used to easily remove the gun and twig. In many areas where irrigation is prevalent, there is usually a good supply of aluminum pipe as it is being phased out because of the labor shortage. We mostly use four 40 foot joints of three inch pipe <clears throat> between guns so the guns are spaced down the pipe line 160 foot apart. The distance between the line will vary depending on wind conditions but generally we use 160 to 180 feet between the lines. At the end of the irrigation season the pipe is pulled from the field along with the pods for winter storage. If you think that the mobile gun system may have an application on your property, stay tuned for the next video production that we have made that explains some of the details, the nuts and the bolts that you need to make this system successful.